three. Okay. What's up? I'm Tito Ortiz. I want to apologize to everyone for not being here tonight. Uh, I'm out of the country, but to be inducted into the Wrestling Hall of Fame has been a dream of mine. Uh, wrestling actually has been a family that, uh, as a young kid, has always wanted, of course. Um, I started at Hunter Beach High School, and from that point on, I was addicted to wrestling. It changed my life. People usually find Jesus Christ to change your life, and collegiate wrestling changed mine. I walked into the wrestling gym at uh, Huntington High, and I looked around for the ring, and there was no ring in there. I come to realize that professional wrestling and collegiate wrestling are two separate things, but I was addicted from the first day in wrestling practice. And it has given back me so much as a person and as a businessman. Um, I ended up going through college due to it, and that's just because of the hard work and dedication I learned through wrestling. And uh, I wanted to be a high school wrestling coach and teacher, but uh, mixed martial arts, and everybody knows this UFC came about uh, in 97 when I first competed for the first time. And I didn't really imagine that uh, wrestling could get me this far. And if it wasn't for wrestling, I wouldn't be the man who I am today. And the hard work that I put in through wrestling got me to become the UFC light heavyweight world champion after only a year and a half of competition. And all due from the hard work and dedication that I've gone through through wrestling. Starting at Tiny to Beach High, going to Golden West Junior College where Dell Defner and Rob Doherty helped me out so much to kind of guide my life straight. Uh, and I think one of the first persons that really helped me and pulled me aside was my mentor, was Paul Herrera, who wrestled at Nebraska University. And, uh, like I said, I was addicted from wrestling from that point out on. Um, at Cal State Bakersfield, I wanted to get in the scholarship there. And I wanted to continue on trying to get my uh, teaching degree. I mean, I was a major in special education teaching, and my minor was in physical ed. And um, just giving back to the youth was things I always wanted to do because I was a kid that was been very troublesome times. Uh, as a young kid, and wrestling kind of guided me the right way and kept me um, at a harm's way, I guess you can say. But I'm very, very thankful for wrestling. If it wasn't for wrestling being where um, my attitude is today, I wouldn't be the person I am today. And uh, I, I've made a great sport um, out of UFC due to wrestling, through the hard work and dedication. If you look at some of the best guys, as Randy Couture, uh, who was a UFC World Heavyweight Champion, he really has given back uh, uh, as a person who I look up to. And at the same time, um, I've always wanted to kind of be like. And wrestling is something that has really got me to this point of working hard and uh, what dedication and what true wrestling is about is hard work and dedication because nobody knows what it's like to get on the mat, you know, five, six days a week and compete against another man to see who the best person is. And that's what wrestling really intrigued me because if I made the mistakes because I didn't drill enough or I didn't wrestle hard enough or I didn't run or lift to make me a better wrestler. And with the dedication I learned and the family that I got through wrestling, I'm very, very thankful. So I want to thank all y'all for inducting me into the Wrestling Hall of Fame. If it was for wrestling, my life and my name wouldn't be where I am today. So once again, thank you so much. I appreciate it very much.